Alrighty then, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to go through some things that I'll be doing during this isolation period. <laughs> Who knows how long that's going to be. Anyway, so I did some online shopping on eBay and whatever else. Um, first thing I need to do is finish this uh, Kyosho Beetle over here. I uh, just need to put decals on it and which brings me to the first box. Uh, I needed an ESC for it, didn't have one. So, got these from uh, Metro Hobby. Little Hobby Wing 1060s. So I've got three of them for the one to go in that now. And a couple for some other cars. Not sure what. Maybe the um, the Monster Beetle. Or maybe uh, the Turbo Scorpion. Or maybe the Avanti up there. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I got out in the shed and uh, had a bit of a clean up, got rid of a couple of motorbikes that were in the way, uh, so we'll have a look at that first. Alrighty, out in the shed, this is where I keep the rest of my RC stuff, and this is the area that I'm going to use for my RC room at some point. <laughs> it's about four and a half metres by four and a half I think. So that should be enough. So at the moment we've got the Baja up there. Gonna get rid of all these shelves out of there and uh, maybe make a big cabinet up to the top. You know, cars top to bottom. <laughs> um, so in this one. Got the uh, few bodies and stuff. Uh, one project I will be working on is uh, probably use the Boomerang Ri Ri. Um, for a uh, what is it what is it a winger a Tamiya winger and there's a foot spar in there just in case you get you know tired feet after a bit of RC <laughs> um, and yeah there's, there's a bunch of bodies in there but they should get, keep me busy for a while uh, it's just motorbike gear in there and some other random crap in there and this one's where I keep the uh, the Baja gear spare Baja parts and what do we got in these yeah this one got a couple of radios a couple of little brushless systems and a big bear that's the big bear it's all new parts I'm gonna build it up one day and the body and over here we have a bit of camping gear a bit of motorbike gear and boomerang and super saber parts uh, thinking I might build another super saber uh, I've got the red shocks and all that so there's enough there to get one of those happening anyway at some point I'll get all this stuff out of here that's my boom box <laughs> um, and that's uh, Cedric we haven't really decided on a name for him um, so I'll get all this out of here and uh, get some benches and stuff and probably line the walls with plaster That'll be very nice, I think. Alrighty, go back inside. Alrighty, so that, that's going to be quite a, a long time to sort out the shed. Probably another year or so, you know. Don't really have the finances to do it right now, but yeah. <laughs> we'll move on. Um, so the other thing I got was uh, some receivers. Um, that's it, yep. Can't remember where I got them, but I got them somewhere off eBay. So I got a bunch of uh, Flysky FSGR 3E receivers. Pretty standard. I use it in a in a lot of kit builds just for basic runners. Reasonably reliable. So I got a couple of them over there now. And another thing I've been doing is uh, since I can't get out to run the cars, uh, trying to clean up the backyard so I can make a little track in there. And as you can see, I'm going to try and run around these trees here and uh, make some kind of a loop or whatever. Australia. And as you can see here, I'm basically just, you know, 
going to mow down the, the lawn, get it all flat. Um, not really sure of a track design yet, but I'll work that out later. A lot more work to do there. Anyway, on the next thing, what do we got here? We got some servos. Got them from uh, Hobbies Direct. A few more stickers, very good. Anyway, I've got a bunch of servos here, some Power HD ones. Uh, I got some basic standard type ones. Got the uh, HD 3001 HB. So they're just you know for your basic uh, basic builds. Um, and over here I've got a a Savox that I think I'm going to put in the Turbo Scorpion. That's uh, what is it? Um, SC0352. Anyway, that one looks pretty cool. <laughs> and got another, a lower profile servo. I might take that out of the box. It's Power HD. Uh, what is it? It's a 1206 TG. Now, yeah, can we open that? Oops. More stickers. Fantastic. Anyway. This is not really an unboxing video, just, uh, you know, just taking it out of the box anyway. So there he is, nice uh, low profile digital servo, looks quite nice to me. Well packaged, very good. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to put that in the uh, Top Force Evo replica. Uh, I need to buy more parts for that though, because I use some of the parts on the uh, Dirt Thrasher. <laughs> So that'll pretty much keep me busy for, well, for some time. Uh, hopefully this thing ends pretty quick and we can all get back to normal. Um, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, that's all I can think of. So in the next video, I'll have the Beetle all finished and have his decals on and uh, have the ESC in. So we can, if the weather's fine, we can get it out in the backyard and give it a bit of a run. Um, at least the ground's flat out there now. <laughs> yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're new here, subscribe. That'd be great. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you guys are doing during this strange period. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one.